in the land of black and white nostalgia, where the flickering glow of the television screen held the magic of discovery, there existed a world quite unlike any other. A world where oil bubbles up from the earth like a mischievous genie, and dreams sprout like corn in the hills of Beverly. Picture this, a rusted truck, overflowing with moonshine and rustic dreams, rumbling into the opulent streets of California's elite enclave. This, dear reader, was your first invitation to the enchanting universe of the Beverly Hillbillies, a whimsical escape that twined its roots deep into the heart of 1962. Oh, the tales it wove. From Grana's elixirs that seemed more like potions from a fantastical brewmaster's cauldron to Jed Clampett's understated wisdom, the Clampett clan etched itself into the annals of television history. Perhaps it was the clashing of cultures that ignited our laughter, the tango between the simple hillbilly way of life and the glitzy, bewildering world of wealth and status. And who could forget that ever-iconic theme tune, a foot-tapping introduction that echoed the very essence of this curious clash. Now, close your eyes for a moment and summon the scene that made you chuckle, that made you ponder, or perhaps, that whisked you away to a time when life's troubles were neatly resolved within a half-hour slot. Was it the fish-out-of-water escapades, the mansion that defied rural logic, or the indomitable spirit of a family thriving amidst the bewildering changes? Those cherished moments, like fireflies in a summer night sky, dance with memories of the first time you stumbled upon their world. As we delve into the hidden corners of this classic show, let's uncover the gems that made it shine. Random facts that might tickle your memory or unveil snippets you never knew existed. So, buckle up as we journey back to a time when laughter was simple, and the most peculiar of encounters could spark the warmth of connection. It's time to unravel the lesser-known tales of the Beverly Hillbillies. The Beverly Hillbillies, a 1962 TV series, originates as a fish-out-of-water comedy. Created by Paul Henning, it centers around the Clampett family from rural Arkansas striking oil and relocating to Beverly Hills. The show's iconic characters include Jed Clampett, the patriarch, Granny, his feisty mother-in-law, Ellie Mae, his tomboy daughter, and Jethro, his dim-witted nephew. The show's unique style lies in its blend of rural simplicity with urban extravagance, creating humor from culture clashes. The Clampets navigate high society with their down-to-earth demeanor, offering a comedic critique of materialism and social norms. Their interactions with snobbish neighbors and the contrast between the ostentatious Beverly Hills lifestyle and their country roots drive much of the humor. The show's impact on popular culture is significant, shaping stereotypes of rural folks in the city and leaving an indelible mark. It achieved high ratings during its nine-season run, demonstrating America's appetite for comedy that bridges class divides. The series set trends for fish-out-of-water narratives and inspired spin-offs, films, and parodies that echoed its themes. Transitioning to random facts, during its peak, the show's cast even appeared in a commercial promoting Johnson and Johnson's Baby Oil. Interestingly, Max Baer Jr., who portrayed Jethro, attempted to secure rights for a spin-off centered on the character but couldn't. The show's theme song, The Ballad of Jed Clampett, became a hit in its own right, sung by Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. Such quirky anecdotes add layers to the show's legacy, highlighting its enduring impact on entertainment and pop culture. Raymond Bailey, a key figure in the iconic 1962 TV series The Beverly Hillbillies, quietly battled Alzheimer's disease during the show's final seasons. Bailey's struggle became evident in his last scenes, as his health waned. Despite his condition, Bailey continued to deliver his performance with dedication, a testament to his professionalism. Bailey's connection with Nancy Culp, his co-star on the series, extended beyond the camera. Throughout the show's run and even after its conclusion, Culp remained a steadfast friend to Bailey. As he grappled with the isolating effects of Alzheimer's, Culp's companionship offered him solace. Bailey affectionately referred to Culp as slim, showcasing the intimacy of their bond. Amid the challenges of his condition, Bailey's enduring connection with Culp sheds light on the strong relationships forged in the world behind the scenes. Their friendship serves as a poignant reminder of the human connections that transcend the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. This glimpse into the lives of the stars behind the Beverly Hillbillies brings to the fore the struggles and friendships that shaped not only the show but also the individuals who brought its characters to life. 
As we reflect on the legacy of the series, let us remember the camaraderie that existed off-screen, offering a deeper appreciation for the talents and tenacity of those who made the show a beloved classic. In a dramatic shift in its programming strategy, CBS, playfully dubbed the country broadcasting system, embarked on a makeover in the fall of 1970. Out went the rural comedies that had long graced its lineup, including Petticoat Junction, Green Acres, Gomer Pyle, Mayberry RFD, and Hogan's Heroes. While these shows had held their own in the ratings game, CBS had its sights set on capturing the attention of a younger, urban audience sought after by advertisers. Pat Buttram, a familiar face from Green Acres, humorously summed up the network's overhaul by stating, CBS canceled every show with a tree in it, including Lassie. This marked a pivot away from the bucolic charm that had been a staple of the network's programming, ushering in an era of fresher, more contemporary content. One such show that had its roots in the rural milieu was The Beverly Hillbillies, which made its debut in 1962. Notably, during its inaugural season, actor Max Baer Jr. embarked on a whimsical endeavor, occasionally portraying both the lovable Jethro Bodine and his fictional twin sister, Jethreen Bodine. Adding an extra layer of intrigue, Linda Henning, daughter of the series creator Paul Henning, lent her voice to Jeffrey, solidifying the delightful illusion. The enduring popularity of the Beverly Hillbillies is underscored by its impressive feat of garnering a remarkable 13 episodes that found their place in the coveted top 100 Nielsen-rated shows of all time, as reported by Zaptoit. Come, this enduring accomplishment speaks volumes about the show's lasting appeal and the connection it forged with audiences of its era. As television landscapes evolve, certain shows stand as testament to bygone eras and changing tastes. The Beverly Hillbillies, with its unique blend of rural charm and situational humor, found itself at the crossroads of television history, a testament to its enduring legacy. Last survivor of the Beverly Hillbillies cast, Max Baer Jr. Max Baer Jr., known for his portrayal of the lovable Jethro Bodine in the 1962 TV series The Beverly Hillbillies, stands as the sole survivor among the main cast members after the passing of Donna Douglas on January 1, 2015. The show, a beloved classic, left an indelible mark on television history. However, as time passes, its cast members become fewer, making Bear's status a poignant reminder of the era when the Clampett family's antics kept audiences entertained. Created by Paul Henning, the sitcom followed the misadventures of the Clampett family, who struck oil on their land and moved from their rural home to a mansion in Beverly Hills. Douglas, who brought to life the role of Ellie Mae Clampett, endeared herself to viewers with her charm and innocence. The loss of this beloved actress has left a void in the hearts of fans. Bear, who not only played Jethro but also directed several episodes, has outlasted his co-stars, embodying a link to the show's legacy. As the years pass, the memories of the Beverly Hillbillies continue to resonate with audiences, thanks to its timeless humor and memorable characters. With each passing year, the curtain falls on a chapter of television history. Max Baer Jr.'s status as the last surviving main cast member of the Beverly Hillbillies serves as a poignant reminder of the laughter. Enjoy the show brought into countless homes. Political debates in Tennessee roots, unveiling the hidden layers of the Beverly Hillbillies in a surprising revelation. Donna Douglas, the charming Ellie Mae Clampett of the iconic 1962 TV series The Beverly Hillbillies, once disclosed a little-known facet of the show's behind-the-scenes dynamics. Among the cast, Buddy Epson and Nancy Culp engaged in fervent political debates that stretched for weeks. These spirited discussions showcased a depth beyond the show's comedic veneer, exposing the diverse perspectives and passions of the actors. Such clashes added an extra layer of intrigue to the beloved sitcom, elevating it beyond its hillbilly premise. Speaking of revelations, season 9 of the show held a pivotal episode that reshaped our understanding of the Clampett family's origins. The episode, titled The Clampets Meet Robert Audubon Getty Crockett, appended the assumption that the Clampets hailed from the Ozarks. Instead, it unveiled their roots in Limestone, Tennessee. Nestled in the northeast corner of the state, Limestone is imbued with historical significance, as the land where the legendary Daniel Boone once lived. This surprising twist deepened Grana's character, painting her as an ardent admirer of Daniel Boone. 
a woman who truly comes from Boone Country. This shift in origin not only added a layer of historical richness to the show, but also redefined our understanding of the Clampett family's heritage. Buddy Ebsen, who portrayed the patriarch Jed Clampett, occasionally wove historical threads from the silent movie era into the show. He strategically dropped the name of Francis X. Bushman, a notable silent film actor, multiple times during the series' nine-season run. Furthermore, in the show's debut episode, The Clampett Strike Oil, Epson paid homage to cowboy actor Tom Nix. This subtle nod to Hollywood's past lent the show a touch of nostalgia, connecting its modern narrative with the entertainment legacy that preceded it. As we delve deeper into the world of the Beverly Hillbillies, these revelations and hidden references demonstrate how the show went beyond its comedic fa essay. With political debates echoing off-screen, historical roots reimagined on screen, and nods to cinematic history sprinkled throughout, the series resonates with layers that continue to intrigue audiences. Truly, the hillbilly escapades of the Clampett family hold more than meets the eye. As we bid adieu to our journey through the whimsical world of the Beverly Hillbillies, let us not merely leave behind the laughter and eccentricities of the Clampett clan, but instead, carry them forward in the pockets of our nostalgia. Like the Jed's cement pond that forever captured a slice of rural life within the bustling cityscape, the show remains a touchstone in the annals of television history. As you reflect upon your own connection with this charming series, consider how its humor and heart transcended generations, reminding us that even amidst wealth and novelty, the essence of family, sincerity, and resilience remains universal. What was it about Grandma's home remedies, Ellie Mae's endearing innocence, or Jethro's colorful antics that resonated with you? Did you find parallels between the absurdity of the Clampett's journey and your own experiences navigating a rapidly changing world? Your memories and musings hold a special place, much like the quirky characters that etched themselves into our collective consciousness. Share your thoughts as if jotting a message in a bottle, allowing the ripples of your connection to travel through time and space, bridging the gap between then and now. So, let the tales of the Clampets be a timeless reminder that laughter, love, and the pursuit of happiness are pursuits as old as humanity itself. Thank you for journeying with us through the cornfields and mansions, the misunderstandings and the heartwarming moments. Your time and your recollections are treasures that keep the spirit of the Beverly Hillbillies alive.